what's poppin'? Welcome to another vlog. We're gonna do a weekend vlog. I'm excited. Today at work, it was crazy. So now it's time to let loose. It's Friday, February what, 11th. Me and my girls are gonna pick me up and we're gonna head downtown. So come along. Before I leave, I'm gonna show y'all my fit. Demario and our friend is at her, so. <laughs> Excuse that. So what do you know about that and this was my grandmother's. This came from, I think, Windsor, this belt. Um, Dior bag, hair story earrings. Well, these, these uh, I can't remember right now. So, you know, the little eyeshadow. And feeling cute. Haven't gotten it dolled up in a minute, so. Anyways, just come with me. Hey y'all, welcome to our girls' night. We got Noelle with us. We got Ara with us. We're at like a speakeasy. It's called, what, Ghost Baby? It's super cute. Not me being like so ingenious. Look what I did. I can't even take some like. <laughs> and I'm like talking over you. Um, so we're gonna see what the vibes are. You know what I'm saying? I don't even know where we are right now. Somewhere downtown, minutes. Cincinnati. Um, it was cool, but it was. Do we go down? We go down. It's like that an old tunnel. Sense. Yeah. Dude, I'm oh, excited. No videography. Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> Ghost baby, super yes. cute. We had two drinks. I say they were pretty strong. What do you say? They though? were good. I'm A1. like feeling good. Te you know, tequila mockingbird. Tequila mockingbird. That's drink to get. Do not get El Diablo <laughs> if you're in the Cincinnati <laughs> area. Please. It tastes like um, watered down ginger ale. And who I'm likes that? I don't think I'm gonna look on. Well, you don't see them since '90. You don't. Like, when they came. Hey y'all, good morning, semi. Um, today is Saturday, February 12th. I got Tigger in the back. I'm taking him to get his ears checked. Um, last week we went to the vet, or was that two weeks ago? I don't remember y'all. Um, but I took him to the vet because Tigger has recurrent ear infections and they get really bad. So I'm taking him back to get a retest. They like cleaned out his ears and they put medicine way down in there um and it should be clearing up if not we might have to consider some other options because it's getting like bad like he used to get it maybe once a year and now it's like very frequently that he gets these ear infections so that's not good um today <clears throat> y'all just been laying in the bed that is so unlike me alcohol these days causes like me to have the worst sleep the worst sleep maybe a little bit of wine and i'm not but like liquor my body can't like recuperate itself well with that so i'm over here feeling like a damn zombie and I like took all the necessary precautions to make sure I didn't wake up feeling hung over. But instead of waking up feeling hung over, I just felt really dry, dehydrated, and really tired. So I was like trying to get as much sleep in as possible. And it was like trash sleep. So chow, I'm gonna have to take a nap later. It's about, it's a little before 12 right now. <clears throat> My voice sounds really hoarse. Um, but yeah, 
I like had to steal Tigger from Teddy. You know, they're always together. So like, I got treats out and I handed one, Teddy one from across the room and then me and Tigger like ran out the door and then Teddy started barking. I felt bad. I felt really bad. <laughs> Hey y'all, how's it going? I have been feeling very much so rejuvenated. I ate breakfast, I ate like half. That wasn't even morning time. I don't know why I'm saying that. I ate half earlier and then half a few hours later. Um, and y'all, I haven't done anything today. When I literally tell you I have been laying in the bed, I've been laying in the bed. And sometimes I wrestle with that. Sorry, I'm like talking to y'all and trying to make sure I know what I'm about to put on. Um, I've been kind of wrestling with that. You know what I'm saying? Like the balance between girl, you lazy or girl, you really just need your rest. You see what I'm saying? So I don't know. I always feel like I have to be, even while I'm talking to you guys, I feel like I have to be doing something. I have to be touching something. I have to be getting something done. And it's just not the case. It's not the case. So all in all though i'm trying to figure out trying to balance how to get back into the groove of things i had taken vacation for a week and then i was sick for a week and then i started working so i've been doing little things here and there but like my word for this year is consistency so i'm just trying to work on being consistent with like the basics before I get consistent with like bigger things. So like basics for me is making sure I'm well nourished, making sure that most of my meals are being prepared here at home, making sure I am taking care of my skin. You know, those are the main things. Um, and then the bigger things or like extra things are like, okay, exercising every day or a certain amount of days a week. Uh, money challenges I fell off of all my money challenges um like the extraneous stuff now mind you exercise is still like super good for you um and I do believe in being active but I haven't been taking the time out to like be extra active if that makes sense so I'm trying 
to do the things. So now that we're all rested, I was like, yeah, let's go to dinner. I'm down for that. So I think I'm going to wear my green Zara sweatsuit. I set it off to the side. And I was like, am I going to do heels again? I'll probably do sneakers. I'll probably keep it real chill. Real cute, but chill. You see what I'm saying? So I'm going to do that. Um, I needed to do some editing. I haven't done that. Um, that's another thing that I'm trying to work on. But I have been being very consistent with taking my supplements. So I actually haven't taken any today, so I need to do that. Okay guys, so my main focus with my vitamins right now is to maintain my immune system. You know, I was sick with the flu. Well, if you didn't know, I was sick with the whole flu. Okay, so I've been trying to keep up with my immunity um, and also trying to keep up with my relaxation and the skin and health of my hair. So with that being said, I think I showed you guys before what I take. I still do Flint Stones Complete. So once I ran out of my multivitamins, I take prenatal multivitamins, children's vitamins. I just take vitamins. <laughs> as long as it has, you know, your basics, your calcium, your iron, your zinc, um, folic acid, vitamin A through the case you know i'm going to take it so i've been just taking one of those a day i do do ashwagandha this is supposed to be really good for your body's recovery system to support your immune system it's supposed to scavenge for free radicals in your body free radicals can sometimes wreak havoc in your body so this is supposed to help neutralize those free radicals and this is a new product that i've been taking but very excited about it and it is their Karenu Nourishing Hair Complex. So you guys have seen, I've been wearing protective hairstyles. I've been wearing my hair natural um, or like now it's in braids. So I really want to focus on the health of my hair. So Aunt Sugi sent me a few bottles of this product and I've been taking it for a couple weeks now. I'm not gonna lie, I like it. I like it a lot. So just like first impressions, cause it is still new, it's each capsule looks like this. You know I've been taking it because the seal's busted open and that cotton is gone. <laughs> so this is what they look like, like a pale brown situation. So the smell is not off-putting. I've had very sticky vitamins and supplements before and it just makes it harder to take. Um, they're in these gel capsules real easy to take there's essentially no taste which we love i used to take zinc tablets and actually stopped taking those because it leaves a taste or a taste disturbance and a residue in the back of my throat and that really deters me from taking it like i'm not taking just zinc anymore so you don't have to worry about this with this care new and so they reached out to me kent suji did and i fell in love as soon as i looked at the back of the bottle go ahead and screenshot this or head to their website and look it up so no matter what i take supplement wise i'm looking at the back to see what they've put in there because sometimes what's on the bottle is not what's inside of capsule or the tablet you know what i'm saying especially as a pharmacist i've been trained to thoroughly look at the list of ingredients so i got really excited because this has a bunch of essential vitamins vitamin d e niacin vitamin b6 biotin iron zinc to name a few but then the list of other supplements um that is inside really got me excited so for example it's got aloe vera extract in there that's so good to help nourish your body it's got ginkgo biloba if you know anything about ginkgo, it does help support memory function. Um, it's got MSM. You guys have seen me in previous videos put MSM powder into my like, water, coffee, or teas. It's good for your bone health. It's got its own keratin regimen. It's like it's got collagen in it. MSM and collagen 
not only great for like your skin elasticity, but also um, this is like an offshoot or like an off-label use, but MSM is supposed to help promote like more beautiful radiant skin. This even has freaking hyaluronic acid in it. You know the girls go crazy, go nuts for hyaluronic acid. So I was really surprised to see it in a supplement. Um, it's in all the skincare products these days, all the body care products. So now you can actually take it internally and watch your hair flourish as a result. So all of these supplements are really good for your body overall and essentially because your hair grows from your follicles and what is left in your hair strand is a result of what you put into your body. That is essentially how this is working. So you don't just get your straight biotin, okay? You get a whole slew of vitamins and supplements and herbs that are great for nourishing your body, which in turn results in nourished hair. So this is essentially going to give your hair a little boost. It's supposed to give it more shine supposed to look more healthy supposed to be more healthy it's essentially going to help give you thicker fuller more beautiful luscious hair and you want that because thicker hair okay tends to last longer and in turn grow longer if you have like brittle thin hair it's gonna break off in your hair you're never gonna really see your hair grow in length and so one of my goals is to have healthy beautiful longer hair so you take two of these a day take two of these a day and you are all set girl if you are pregnant or breastfeeding definitely talk to your doctor prior to taking anything um, but also ask them specifically about this they can look at the ingredient list and decide whether or not it's right for you but um yeah i've really been liking it thus far I've been taking them pretty consistently, so shout out to that on my little consistent journey here. And I'm just really excited. So I'm not sure how my hair is going to look until after I take these braids out, but the proof will be in the pudding. I will continue to take them. Yeah, so we're gonna see what it does. I definitely recommend this product. If you don't have any allergies or health conditions that prevent you from taking any of these items so always make sure you check the back and if you want to be super sure check the back and ask your doctor to do so as well so i'm actually going to take my capsules now because i haven't yet um i also need to take my multivitamins but those are downstairs so yeah okay i'm gonna take these two capsules and i'm gonna get started with whatever else is going on. And you might be like, Taylor, why do you have supplements in different places? Um, I've got a method to my madness. So <laughs> multivitamin, because it has iron in it, sometimes iron can upset your stomach. So I prefer to take that when my stomach is full. So I keep it downstairs in the kitchen. You know, I'm preparing food or I just got done eating food, putting dishes away, just take a tablet. Upstairs, I keep my ashwagandha, cause like I've been saying, um, this can be used to help you sleep better, so why not keep it by my bedside? You don't need to ha eat the have these with food or anything, so I'll take these in the morning and or at night. Um, it doesn't matter. You're not supposed to take one a day. Um, unfortunately, the time of day I take those do change, so I just keep it by my bedside to help me remember just to take it. Um, the Kintsuji, I also keep upstairs. You don't have to take these with food. There's nothing in here that should cause stomach upset. So I often take these two together. Um, also, I don't think I mentioned this, but I am going to put all of the information for how to buy Kintsuji down below. Okay, y'all, so as I put some of my clothes away, Let's briefly for a second, let's briefly for a second talk about the Super Bowl. Okay, tomorrow is Super Bowl Sunday. And our team, Cincinnati Bengals, Bengals, the Bengals are playing. And none, I feel like nobody in Cincinnati can really believe it. If you are from Cincinnati or if you're in Ohio, like, can you believe it? Y'all, they have not made it this far. They have not won as many games as they had 
in like 30 some odd years okay B before i was born so this is like a once in a lifetime thing the city has been on absolute fire you got people just out and about you got all these businesses showing bingo pride all these businesses showing love it's just really nice to see it makes you feel good in this city we've even had people who traveled to come to cincinnati the, the game is not even happening in cincinnati it's happening in la if you didn't know but there's been people who have traveled to come up here to experience this moment with family and friends like y'all it's a big it's a big thing it's a big deal and i'm excited for them honestly truly excited <laughs> So guys, we got everything cleaned up. We got the candles lit. You know, it didn't really take me long at all, but it's something that needed to be done. I don't know why it was so, I don't know. You guys, I, I really don't know. Like I've cleaned my room between the time I got sick and now, but like the work week, I just got to get back into the groove of things. Cause I was off of work for like almost three weeks. <laughs> That's a long time to be off. So after I cleaned up, I opened up a package, a PR package from a, um, I wouldn't say spot. Um, I opened a PR package and I'm actually wearing the pieces now. We've got these beautiful huggies as well as this beautiful necklace, so this clover like pendant. And then last but certainly not least, we've got this beautiful bracelet. So you you clasp it on, but you can also tighten it. I forgot what this is called, but with the ball and there's like silicone in the, on the inside, you can move the chain to like make it looser or tighter depending on your wrist so it's adjustable. This necklace is also adjustable. Everything is coated in 14 karat gold uh, and or silver plated. So loving this, it's from a brand called Roxbox. I actually need to do a Instagram post for them on my feed. So I thought tonight while I got cute, ready for dinner, I could, you know, get some detailed pics of what's going on and it'll also add some razzle dazzle to my sweatsuit as you guys know i'm gonna wear that tonight so whew. okay and then i also just got off the phone with one of my older sorors she's basically like a mentor to me um if you don't know i'm an aka skewy <laughs> no but i'm also a part of the grad chapter and in the grad chapter there is a like subcommittee specifically meant to raise money for scholarships for deserving youth in the tri-state area, mainly Cincinnati area though. Um, so we raise money for scholarships for students to go to college. It's really nice. Um, and I signed on for my second term, but here recently I've been getting a little overwhelmed and I haven't been as responsive. So me and her, who's actually the president of the committee, um, we had a chat about some things that I need to get done because I'm the technology chair. Some things they can just send me via email, but I haven't been to many of the meetings here recently. I've just really fallen off. So I felt really bad. And I don't know, sometimes I just get into these mo moods where it's like I don't have enough energy for it all, you know? So I'm really trying to be more cognizant of what I'm spending my time on and really getting a balance. You guys, that's just adulting. Just trying to manage it all. Trying to do everything that you want to do, everything that you committed to do. And trying to make it work and be cohesive. So, good morning. Today is Sunday, February 13th. Valentine's Day, Bengals Day, 
the whole string. Anyways, I am in the kitchen making breakfast. I'm making some hash browns and turkey bacon and um, trying to make some egg bites, which has not working out. to make it in this really small measuring cup. I'm about to move it. Last night after we went to Teak, which by the food, by the way, the food was, I had pad thai. So it was like, okay. Um, I've had better pad thai, but I heard the dim sum was really good. Pineapple fried rice is really good. Fried oysters. So if you go and you can't find anything else or don't feel comfortable or anything else you do get a pad die make sure you ask for your extra peanut sauce on the side breakfast is banging i just had to get on here and tell y'all that because i just smashed hey y'all so we are in my car Ooh, braids is tucked all up in there. About to head to the grocery store. Luckily, I got like a small one right around the corner from my house. My energy is just low. Like, I don't know what it is. This weekend, I have not been feeling like doing a lot until like nighttime, though. Like, how weird is that? I don't know. So. Huh. okay and then you know what's even more hilarious this morning <laughs> i didn't realize until after i got done talking to y'all that i realized i had some eyelashes still stuck to my right eye so i was probably looking like cockeyed as ever sorry about that and before we go i got my little mask And I don't know, I just love wearing this coat with like a basic outfit underneath. I just feel like it really ups the look. All right, y'all, let's hit the grocery store. <laughs> Hey y'all, Demar and I are about to head to the Super Bowl party. I did like some content before I left. That's why I slightly beat my face. Ooh. Y'all, it 
is snowing so not so bad but bad enough like wait a minute Okay, I'm about to play some music, so I'll see y'all at the party. At the party. Honestly, when I dip, you dip, you dip. Would you, you want to see yourself? That's you. When I dip, you dip. I want to do that. No, that's other day. <laughs> nice. <laughs> you want one? You got to ask your mom. Super Bowl party vibes. Um, I'm gonna make you guys some like peanut butter jellies. A brownie? And then you, before you guys a have brownie? Else. Okay, maybe it's our crackers. Just a cracker. Where'd you get these? Oh, my. Hey, man, my dad got them. <laughs> Cheers! Cheers! Today! Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Well, they were here, but now they're gone. Um, I think they could, yeah, up there. Try it, try it. What are these? Jalapeno poppers. All right, jalapeno poppers. Gotta get some of those. We found them first time. First cabinet. We found them. This is pretty good. What was the other flavor? Orange and what, you think? I think they're all orange. I don't know. Oh, orange creamsicle. Okay, that's what that was. Oh. Thank you. 
Everybody, 